what's going on guys it is Jordan or Nadro and what do we have here some good old modern warfare 2 now uh, a while ago like a week before black ops came out I said I would probably never post a modern warfare 2 commentary again but obviously I am so I didn't hold my word but whatever I decided to this is my first game jumping on modern warfare 2 uh, from black ops I haven't played, well I played it like a week ago, but I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 since. I hopped in here and got a nuke, so I camped really hard, so yeah. And I'm no notice I'm using uh, the bunk, or like the flak jacket equivalent equipment. Um, but yeah, I camped to get my nuke, but it was the first game I played, so yeah. But, another thing, oh, I gotta tell you guys a story that happened to me at school today. So today, in my AP Physics class, it was, uh, we start reviewing for the AP test next Monday. So today, my teacher gave us a mental health day, and we went outside and, uh, played some volleyball, and then for the last bit, we launched a couple of model rockets off. So it was a lot of fun. But, here's the thing. So, um, I basically tripped over a fence. But, <laughs> here's how... It, I came about that. So, um, I'm, or we're all on the track, or the football field, right? So, we launch it off, I see it go way high in the air, and then it starts drifting out of the, uh, football field. So, what I do is I decide to sprint as fast as I can across the football field, over the first fence that, um, surrounds the track, and so I jump that with ease, because there's actually a chain link fence you can actually, uh, you know, hold on to the top and then um, boost yourself over. And then there's a, a black fence that separates, um, or so, holds off the area. There's an area in between the track and the parking lot that has, like, the snack bar and stuff like that. So there's that fence that's about five, hold on, let me see. Yeah, probably about five feet tall. Um, I just like remembered, and then uh, so I jumped that because I was my adrenaline is going. I was sprinting across, going as fast as I can, try to catch the rocket so it didn't uh, break, you know, when it landed. And then, um, but then across the parking lot, I'd run across the parking lot, and then uh, in the go across the driveways that come into our school, like the, where the main parking lot are, and then across the driveways there's this gravel lot. But right before the gravel lot there's this rope fence, or that's like just some some posts with some uh, rope going through them, and then uh, that is what I tripped on. So <laughs> I was just sprinting, and I was wearing jeans, and they're quite skinny jeans. I'm not like super into skin they're not skinny jeans but they're in between like baggy and skinny so they're normal I guess <laughs> so um but if I was wearing basketball shorts I wouldn't have uh, clipped my leg or my foot so my left leg I jumped with, off my left foot and my left leg just clipped the fence and I just totally ate you know what so um yeah that was pretty much ruined my day because my the first thing I landed on which uh, surprised me because uh, when I snowboard, you never land on your with your hands first. But that's what I did. I put my hand down, and I got some rocks. Uh, got five different rock cuts on my palm. So it, it basically it looked kind of badass, but <laughs> not gonna lie. But uh, it kind of sucks still because I have four, five gashes in my hand just from rocks. So. Uh, Unfortunately, that's what happened, and it was I had to go to the office and all that crap. So now it's in a bandaid and or bandage, and I also got my elbow and my hip. So yeah, I just got the nuke, you know. So yeah, so that's my story for today, and I'm just gonna fast forward it to the end because the rest is boring. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.
Charlie. Yeah, everyone, that's going to All that effort for nothing.